Good morning, everybody. Can you hear me? Mic is okay? Okay, thank you. I am Sergei Kuznetsov, Chief Architect of Moscow. And uh, yes, uh, first of all, I would thank to Grofisoft for having me here. It's really, really big honor to be here and present our project here. And uh, actually, Archicad was first soft, graphic soft, which I used uh, when I was in my studentship, even, and it was really great remembrance, and uh, it was 20 years ago. And now it's really cool to have not only uh, our project on the cover, but have a speaking here and uh, give us, uh, give you some example of Moscow architecture. Uh, if you know, maybe not everybody of you uh, have been to Moscow last, I don't know, five or 10 years, we have big changes there. And on the cover of my presentation is a uh, bridge, uh, floating bridge uh, of Zariari Park. It's a very interesting example of uh, modern architecture which we have in Moscow a lot now. And I give, give, uh, will give you some other examples of uh, what we have in Moscow last time. So uh, we have some figures here. It's not necessary to read all of them. But uh, very shortly, for uh, last uh, 10 years, we have really uh, extremely changed situation in Moscow with architecture and construction process. We start doing architectural competition, and uh, we have start inviting a lot of uh, star architects in Moscow and use new and new technologies, for example, like uh, uh, beam technologies. And now we have special program of supporting beam technologies launched by government of Moscow. So uh, as a result, we have uh, lots of things which be, will be done, uh, was done in the last uh, years uh, in all direction of architecture and real estate. I divided my presentation in different parts. For example, and start with sport facilities because I think you know uh, last uh, FIFA World Cup uh, was uh, held in Moscow, hosted in Moscow, and not Moscow in Russia, and in Moscow also uh, last year. And uh, some of things uh, was built for World Cup, some of things was built just by the way. Luzhniki Stadium, the biggest stadium of World Cup, which hosts a final match and opening match of uh, championship, also was designed by uh, my architecture with the team more or less component of team of Rhythmic Gymnastics Centrum, and some of our members are here also. And this is uh, one of the biggest and maybe best examples of big football soccer stadium in the world now. Uh, other big stadium also was designed in Moscow and was built recently. Uh, Dynamo Stadium, where it wasn't in the program of World Cup, but also a very big and interesting object. Uh, other stadium, Spartak Stadium, is here only in Moscow, we have built three huge stadiums in capacity more than 50,000 visitors. Aquatic center in Luzhniki, Luzhniki territory was developed very actively and uh, we see this aquatic center in Luzhniki stadium, big arena, is a, like a surrounding, like a background for our rhythmic gymnastic, gymnastic centrum, which have honored uh, to be on the color of uh, Archica 23. So just to give you some impression what happens else. Culture. Also big uh, direction for us in Moscow is culture development. As usual, you know, uh, Moscow famous with Bolshoi Theater, Tretikov Gallery, and uh, some other big cultural facilities. And now we designed and built uh, also very spectacular, interesting one. Uh, for example, it's uh, Philharmonic Hall in Zariari Park. There's a famous Zariari Park, which also I will mention here in presentation. Part of this park is a Philharmonic Hall, hall designed with Masahisa Toyota. It's a very big acoustician specialist. Uh, in, uh, in the world, new expansion of City Cove Gallery. Uh, which one? Uh, uh, this one is uh, renovation of uh, formal industrial building uh, made by Renzo Piana for uh, private, uh, private, private uh, culture foundation, art foundation. And uh, not only Renzo Piana, but a uh, big number of uh, world star architects now working in Moscow. It's a very interesting process, and I will give you some other examples maybe later. For example, this uh, other building for Tritikov, which is designed by uh, OMA, Rem Kolhoz, and now it's under construction also in Moscow. So also very interesting building. It's old-fashioned Soviet uh, building, which built originally built in 1860-something, uh, and now it will be totally renovated by Rem Kolhoz and Tritikov. Uh, lots of business centers, maybe not so spe spectacular architect, but also very interesting and maybe in technical questions also 
very important and uh, very promoted things like uh, skyscrapers of Moscow city. Most of them was built uh, till, uh, I don't know, 2000, beginning of 2000, and uh, during last uh, maybe 10 or even five years. Uh, this office center by Zaha Hadid also was built uh, recently. Uh, Skolkovo district with a different uh, architecture like this one or this one or uh, other examples. Uh, other office buildings and for example this last building of Zaha Hadid which was built before uh, her death in 2015. Also in Skolkovo. Skolkovo is like a, uh, some sort of uh, typology like a Silicon Valley here in California. Not here but in California. We designed something like this in Moscow. Uh, with an invitation of, former, uh, of famous uh, star architects from the world. And uh, Zaha Hadid was one of the architects which was uh, selected on in international competition. Uh, some other examples, maybe also it's not Zaha Hadid, but also interesting thing in Moscow, which uh, constructed now education. Now we develop a lot of uh, educational building, and uh, this is called Tech. It's a technology university uh, which run by uh, Russian institution together with MIT uh, and uh, was designed by Herzeg Demiron office. Also one of very spectacular interesting building designed with a timber structure and its first phase but was developed uh, further in uh, several years uh, after today. Uh, David Ajay building uh, also in Skolkovo nearby uh, first one also it's business school also educational project uh, this one I showed before from Birdfly and uh, several buildings of the schools, kindergartens and some not so big facilities but very important uh, to give you examples of uh, changing in Moscow and maybe if you uh, know something from a Russian architect, Soviet architect uh, before collapsing Soviet Union it was already a bit honestly speaking boring and uh, not so spectacular but after collapsing of Soviet Union in 19th and uh, uh, early uh, 2000s that was also not so good it was maybe more uh, variety in architecture but not so high quality no uh, interesting architects in Moscow and now situation is changing very rapidly so that's some of examples new mass housing uh, new kindergartens and so on uh, public transportation also is a big point in uh, Moscow development and so now we have, uh, for example, we doubled uh, subway station during last, uh, I guess, seven years maybe. Uh, you know, Moscow subway is one of the biggest in the world, but it was doubled and now became even bigger and bigger. And uh, we uh, hold architectural competition to vary uh, design of uh, subway station because uh, just to spare some money we're forced to do it very in economically way but is an inefficient way but we try to develop in, in some interesting methods with the architects with the new technologies and have a station like this because uh, tradition of Moscow subway is every time very opulence very bright architecture and from some period of Soviet time it was very gray and faceless and it was very pity story and now we try to do it again interesting and uh, architectural impressive so that's examples already built uh, which we have after international competition with different architects Russian not Russian different one from other cities of Russia and so on that's other examples uh, different stations mass housing also very interesting thing and today it was in some presentation I remember which of colleagues showed you uh, that's principle of uh, assembling uh, architecture on the site not production on the site but assembling from elements and we have big tradition in Soviet Union of assembling panel housing but problem was just panel housing uh, was a really ugly and really faceless architecture isn't it actually wasn't architecture it was like a you know industrial uh, construction for people and it became big problem for periphery of uh, Russian cities not only for Moscow but the rest of the cities also and uh, we still have this problem but uh, from 2015 we launched the program of uh, redevelop uh, production uh, with the factories who product uh, this mass housing and we elaborated special standards uh, and special um, 
uh, rules uh, for changing the, this team. And now we design mass housing and build mass housing more or less like this. It's uh, several examples, but believe me, it became 100 times better, more interesting, and even looks like uh, real architecture, not just uh, some strange sheds for the people, like a huge uh, factory factories. That's other examples, uh, quite big number now we have also in, uh, already in Moscow because uh, we was built it uh, for maybe last three or five years. So other examples, you see it's every time comes with a very interesting landscaping and it's really, really cheap uh, real estate, really cheap because it's my hu mass housing and it's very affordable housing now. And uh, on other side, for example, of uh, this avenue, you see how it used to be in Soviet period, also this one, and this is a new development. And now it's became more and more often you can meet this type of typology of building. So this other design and now, uh, thanks to these rules, we can afford us different design and very cheap and very uh, rapidly assembling housing for millions and millions of people. Uh, further, yes, it's another example of uh, not only mass housing, but non-mass housing, it's individual housing, of course, but also very interesting and designed with different architects. Now, for example, we have under construction this big complex on Moscow River embankment, uh, designed by Herzeg de Miron. You see also in terms of, for example, structure engineering, a very interesting solution with this long legs for this building, long columns which bear this uh, quite big volume uh, of building and this is one of seven sister building uh, on the Moscow embankment, uh, Ukraine hotel and they're really in uh, very close proximity to the city center and now very, very short time I hope we will see this beautiful example of modern architecture in Moscow. Other example designed by MBRDV with Vinnie Mas also a result of international competition uh, in very city center of Moscow. We built building like this, looks really quite spectacular and very interesting in terms of structure engineering, MEP engineering and the uh, rest of uh, things which we have in the project. So uh, other building on periphery of Moscow designed by Stephen Hall, also a big American architect, of course you know him very well. And uh, also now in under construction, interesting project in Moscow, some examples of landscaping design. And uh, most, maybe most important uh, point of the program in Moscow now, program of development of Moscow is public spaces. Because Moscow uh, really uh, used to have lack of public spaces and uh, it was city dedicated mostly to cars. And maybe uh, most of you heard of about uh, unreal and very badly traffic, traffic jams in Moscow. And now it's this times more or less in the past because we develop uh, not only transportation, public transportation system, must, but also public spaces. And uh, on this slide, uh, you see Zaryadi Park, and uh, this is the examples of this park. And uh, you see Kremlin walls. It, it's nearly uh, in really, really heart of Moscow. It's cl uh, closest proximity to city center. Uh, Kremlin is uh, our very city center of Moscow. Uh, which uh, Moscow gov uh, city government, uh, country government sits. And park was designed and built on the um, place of former uh, Hotel Russia, Russia. Uh, it was biggest hotel, more or less like Caesar Palace, but in the Soviet Union, very ugly, very uh, bad designed and uh, uh, bad operated. So it was demolished in 2006. And uh, after this, it was developed as a real estate uh, commercial uh, uh, for commercial market uh, housing and by a solution by Mayor Sabianin it was redesigned in the park and we uh, redeveloped in park and we organized huge international competition and uh, designed this park with the dealers Cafe du Renfe, famous New York office who designed a high line in New York. We invited this uh, really great team and we designed with them this beautiful project which uh, collect lots of international uh, prices and so on. Uh, other examples of public spaces, embankments, uh, little squares, it's uh, for example uh, one hectare square but totally redesigned uh, from last time and different parks and embankments and so on. Just examples of you, lots of photos here. 
So yes, and uh, uh, star architects. I mentioned several times in presentation that we yes uh, we try to work with the star architects. It's really important point I think to promote Moscow as the capital of architecture now of modern architecture. And uh, I have really a big number of photos of these architects as one uh, each of them work, uh, working in Moscow and do something interesting. That I hope if you're visiting Moscow in short time, you will see objects designed by really, really big architects uh, of our time. And of course, in last slide, uh, I would like to show one again uh, our rhythmic gymnastic centrum. It's really, one, once again, really big honors to have us on the cover of Archicad 23. And uh, my colleagues, uh, our team, will introduce this project and show this project in the presentation further after the me. And now I would like to introduce Nikolai Gandrushin to you. Nikolai, please come on the stage. So I, I believe it will be more interesting after my short introduction of Moscow background now. And please enjoy the presentation of Nikolai.